اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر دي دبابته دي دي المدرع حقته دي دي المدرع حقته دي دي الله أكبر 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 عيش الأبطال الله أكبر الله أكبر أبشر الله أكبر إذا كوك أبشر إذا كوك إذا كوك Shelling and gunfire resumed Sunday in the Sudanese capital at the end of a 24-hour ceasefire that was globally respected according to witnesses. The latest in a series of ceasefire agreements enabled civilians to stock up on essential supplies of free. Nearly two months into the war between Army General al Burhan and Paramilitary Commander Dagalo, over 1,800 people have been killed according to the NGO armed conflict location and event data project. Nearly 2 million people have been displaced, including 476,000 who have been sought refuge in neighboring countries, the United Nations said. In this context, Egypt reversed a visa exception for children, women, and elderly people. All citizens of neighboring Sudan will have to obtain visas before crossing the border. The Egyptian Foreign Ministry cited Saturday a crackdown on illegal activities including fraud and said the nation welcomed some 200,000 Sudanese nationals. Egypt's Foreign Ministry stressed in its statement that its consulates in Sudan have been provided with the necessary electronic devices to carry out these regulations ensuring the elderly entry of Sudanese citizens. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.